Here's how you perform an inset on your 3D object. First, you want to select your object simply by clicking on it with your Apple Pencil or your finger. Then you want to go into your faces. Then I'm going to use some of my touch gestures in order for me to see the top of my cylinder, which is what I'm going to inset, and then I'll simply click on it to select it. Over on the left-hand side, you'll then want to select the inset option, which is going to look like this icon here. This will let you know that you have it selected. Then, pressing on that icon, you can move in, or you can outset. You can move out, which of course is going to make it a little destructive, but moving in here, I want to make sure that I continue pressing down, moving it to wherever I want my inset at. And then when I stop, that is where it's going to do my inset. It's already still selected, so if I need to do multiples, I can then just press it down again, and again, and again. And then of course, if maybe I needed to inset maybe one of these, I'll simply click on it. Again, my inset is still selected. And then I can make individual insets on other things as well. We talked about how to do our selection before. So if I wanted to do insets on multiple things, I can come down here to my hand icon first, select all of the faces that I want to inset, and then I can automatically inset those. And you'll notice that when I came back from my selection, it automatically had my inset already selected. And then I press on that and it will allow me to inset all of these. Again, going the opposite direction would be kind of destructive, but then I can easily quickly inset those. And that is how you perform an inset.